So here we have to now actually focus on the techniques where we can actually reduce friction. So there are very various methods which are put into use that we can employ to reduce friction. Number one, you might have seen fishes or even birds in flight. They always have a similar figurine that they follow. The fishes have a streamlined body. So does the bird. So you will notice that their bodies are narrow in the front and they gradually broaden till they again become narrow at the tail. Such a shape is what we call a streamlined shape. So ideally, we have learned from the nature, we have observed the fishes and the bird and we have seen that they have a streamlined shape where they have a narrow head and a narrow tail with a broader centerpiece. So when we talk about this, the same streamlined shape, where do we observe? We observe this streamlined shape and we actually put into use to make the boats. So the streamlined shape does what? This streamlined shape actually offers minimum force of friction in air or water and hence help the fishes and birds to move faster. Hence, we put this same streamlined shape into what? We tried making all the objects moving in air and water such as aeroplane, such as ships, such as submarines, right? They are made streamlined with streamlined body to reduce the friction in air and water. And this is what we do to reduce friction, right? Another thing we can do is very simply polish a rough surface. When we do this, you might have observed that when your mother is trying to clean the house and the floor is wet, it is very easy to slip. Why? Right? Because the friction is reduced. So when you polish anything, the friction reduces. So we can actually polish rough surfaces or smoothen their irregularities so that the smooth surface will offer less friction and hence we are able to reduce its disadvantage. Moreover, you might have even seen in the game of the carom board, you try to put some talcum powder over the board to reduce the friction so that your coins can move very easily. So, they are highly polished so that the friction reduce, right? Or there is one more thing that you can do, you can do lubrication. Lubricating the moving parts of the machinery, the friction can be reduced. So, you might have seen that wherever there are gears which are coming into contact where the friction increases and it generates a lot of heat which hampers the machinery parts, we try to put some kind of oil, some kind of lubricant which can reduce the friction and hence keep the machine running for longer. So, if the moving parts are light in weight, then light oil is used as lubricant. If the moving parts are heavy, then grease is used. So, graphite is also used as a lubricant in machine which generate more heat. We have already seen that talcum powder is used for the carom board. So, by smoothing, by polishing, by lubricating, we can reduce friction. There is one more technique of reducing friction which is by providing wheels. You remember we have learned that different types of friction, the rolling friction has the lowest as compared to sliding and static friction. Hence, if we apply any object with wheels, we have to apply less effort because the wheels will roll and rolling friction is less. So, for decreasing the friction, we can turn towards the rolling of object. So, example is a suitcase. If you drag a suitcase on the floor, it will be very heavy. It will be very, very difficult because it will be offering you large friction. But if you apply wheels to the suitcase and you now apply the force or you push or pull your suitcase, it will be very small amount of force is required. It becomes easier because you have decreased the force of friction, right? Even ball bearings consist of small steel balls which are used in certain machinery which reduces your effort. So when these steel balls are placed between two cylindrical moving surfaces, they reduce the friction considerably. So ball bearings are used where? They are used in bicycles, scooters, car, trucks, even motors which reduces the friction by using the property of rolling friction to be less than sliding and static friction. But here it is two different cylinders having small, small, small bowls which are able or capable of rolling in between these two cylinders, right? Hence reducing the friction.
right now as far as we learned we understood one thing for sure that friction have some disadvantages and have some disadvantages though it is not in our hand it is there always it is a consequential force but if i can quote it in one line we can say that friction is a necessary evil why because it has many disadvantages along with advantages so force of brick friction do bring wear and tear in the moving object it do bring heat it do slow down moving body and it low, it also causes a lot of energy wastage while we try to overcome friction but if there is no friction what will happen the bodies will not be able to move as we see it they will either slip or will not move at all furthermore the bodies will not be able to stop at all if one set into motion even walking on the surface of earth will become impossible thus we can say that force of friction though it has many many disadvantages it advantages are also there it is necessary for us and hence we quote it as the necessary evil right now let's just talk about some of the ways where friction comes very useful and we use certain methods to increase it so in certain situation we need to increase the friction in spite of the fact that it is going to consume more energy we need friction to act more for example in the case of tires we have already learned that tires are corrugated why because they need to hold on to the ground very stiffly very rigidly because it has to take the weight of the heavy vehicle so tires of all kinds of vehicles are provided with deep groove so has to increase the friction what will happen as a consequence of this this will prevent the vehicle from skidding on wet roads or even in sharp turns right you might have seen the soles of the shoes of athletes or football players or mountaineers are provided with the spikes and the grooves the spikes will increase the friction and prevent slipping you might have seen that in ice the people use different kind of shoes so that they are able to move on ice without slipping right industrial belts are provided with rough surfaces to increase the friction so that whatever is being carried on the belts they should not slip over from the pulleys right and the grinding stone that is used in the flour mills to flow to produce or grind the flour we use that the free friction should be increased between them so that the grain can be grinded easily among right so friction comes into very much use 